What's up everybody? It is a new week. That means it's time for a brand new hunt. And I am at a pretty terrible target and a pretty terrible uh, GameStop that's up here. Uh, this past week, I had such a good time at uh, Roma Collectibles in Ohio. They had a, called a parking lot con. Man, I can't say enough cool things about that. So if you're new to the channel, then welcome aboard. I hope you dig it. We're at Target right now. GameStop's back there. Probably gonna hit up GameStop first. I'm looking for that um, that cable, that whole Kazar build a figure wave. And I think that stuff is uh, dropping now, soon, if nothing else. Hold on. I lock it. All right, so uh, let's get inside the Target. And let's see what they got. So right off the bay, like, oh, get the fuck out of here. Am I going to start my day off with a uh, Danhausen chase? Oh, yes, Danhausen here. Very nice, very evil. This is a good way to start a hunt out. I know you're watching. Craving the toy hunt. We got another Danhausen here. I got that. Yeah, I'm getting this. <laughs> All right, uh, let's just end the hunt now. Okay, thanks for tuning uh, <laughs> in. That's crazy, dude. I haven't found a chase in I don't know how long. Uh, actually, go back and watch some of the old videos. And I found, last time I found a chase was like that Jack Hager, Jake Hager, and uh, Darby Allen stuff. Dude, I totally forgot to like look at everything else. Danhausen, regular Danhausen. We got an Iron Man. We got a uh, Spider Shot. We got some uh, metal heads. Good figure, dude. Good figure, underrated. All this extra stuff they have, you know, I don't see that many people giving G.I. Joe shit about it being like 35 for like a deluxe figure because it's a damn good figure, especially when you look at, uh, McFarland's not bad at like $22.99. When you come over here and you spend 25 bucks, 25 bucks for that? At least 25 bucks for that box looks cool. You get a little bit of extra stuff. You know what? Wrestlers are on this side. We got a Tony Storm. It's awesome. We got Ricky Starks. Bowen's a caster, passing on all that. We got a Dusty Rhodes, Seth Rollins, Ichiban, Hulk Hogan, any blue boots? Nope, nope, nope. Sultans, oh, they're on sale 20 bucks. Got a Muhammad Ali, he's cool. Captain Lou, Trish Stratuses. Multiple Trish Stratuses, are those called Trish Strat eyes? <laughs> Uh, Sabine Wren uh, and I guess even though I'm out of Star Wars since I'm uh, doing the toy hunts again gotta talk about a little bit of everything I guess I don't have to all right if you like Star Wars tell me we'll talk about it we did get these those are basic oh they're all retro I got you we have some of the transformer um, transforming turtles get a little like rocket socket robot turtles we got some stranger things Skeletor and uh, emo gorg we got Brian Danielson down here. What's this? That Target exclusive. It is. Looks like the uh, Hall of is still going on. We got some Friday 13th. What's this look like? Friday 13th. This past weekend on TV was, um, it was on like Cinemax Terror, Horror, or whatever. But it was uh, Friday 13th 3D. Terrible movie. God, terrible movie. But so terrible, it's awesome. We got Frankenstein. Candace just got one of these, but it was the color version of it. Good figure. A couple Predator figures. I got them both, but I will always spend time looking at beautiful Predator figures. God, that's a good figure. Let me just leave it open. <laughs> Turtles. Very cool black light effect. Uh, Daredevil. Oh, yeah, we look at vinyls here, too. I can't believe this. Is that a cool predator? Tell me that ain't 35 bucks. That says Annabelle. Annabelle, hey. We're gonna start collecting the old school 90s versions of those again. So, that'll be something I'll start hunting down. Robocop and that crazy uh, massage chair or whatever he has. We got some of those old school aliens. Uh, we got a Phelon? Is that Phelon? That is his name, right? Phelon. I still need a uh, Chung Lee. 
What else we got? What is this? Look at that Ghost Rider. Oh no, Rat King? Dude, that don't look like Rat King. Maybe from, know, this is garbage. This is garbage. I can say I bled for garbage. <laughs> uh, a bunch of pops. You know, whenever I watch some of these uh, toy hunt videos, cause I don't just make these. I watch them too, that's cool. So many times I'll see people walk by stuff that I'm like, oh shit, that's cool. I wish I would've had that. If you see me do that, tell me what I passed up on. Cause dude, there's so much going on like with the uh, overkill of uh, overstimulation, seeing everything, the sounds, the people, all this shit. It's uh, very easy to look over stuff. Tell me if I overlook something that you would've gotten into. Let's go look into vinyls. Weezer, the blue album's always a good one. Great album, so it's uh, the Sleeping Night Rumors. That's the last vinyl I got. I think it, that Def Leppard best of. That's cool, Pink Floyd is super cool. Is that Matt Miller? Heard a lot about him. Uh, I don't know much about him. Tell me, if you go out and buy vinyls, what do you look for? Obviously, I'm like 90s alternative. That's, that's like my main shit. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go pay for this. Dan House and Chase. I'm pumped, dude. We're gonna go hit up uh, GameStop. Dude, after this past weekend, I'm bringing a shot, dude. So leaving, uh, leaving Target. We got a Dan House and Chase. <laughs> I got a Chase, like just in the wild. You know what's crazy? He wasn't even out, like on the peg. I mean, someone picked him up, thought about it, and put him back. Thank you. It is Monday. May 20th, if you are, uh, if you went shopping at Target on Bardstown Road and you second thought a Dan Housen Chase AEW figure, thank you. Appreciate you. Good looking out. Let's see what they got. So they got that uh, What If Captain America, uh, Captain Carter Shield. So that's marked down for 108 here. I see it marked down all the way to like 80 bucks in places, but still don't want it um so we got some this it, is all they have it's all crowded like this is the one section of figures they have here and it's all dc gi joe marvel so you see um good figure good good figure you know what i got one of these and i don't like opening the carded vintage looking gi joe so i might buy this dude just to open it hmm Some shirts, clearance shirts, anything cool. Ah, oh, is that large, please? That is. Dude, that's cool. That is way cool. Uh, here's all the clearance stuff. The thing is cool, dude, and it is buy one, get one free. G.I. Joe Con's coming up. I should buy one, open it because I like it, and then sell one at the con. Sell it for 10 bucks and I made my money back. I'm gonna get a fang. 10 bucks. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it, why not? I try to avoid this place by all means, but it's a sacrifice you have to make. Most of the time it's a bust. I also said that about Target earlier over off Bartstown Road. They came through. All right, looking at the Transformers. You got your Turtles. It's getting uh, lamer and lamer the more sets they come out with Turtles. So you got some uh, Legends, your X-Men 97. Pretty much all the same ones that you've seen for a while. No Way Home. We're gonna guess all they have is that and that. Probably nothing, maybe a shitty uh, Sandman and not even that. Oh dear God, it's so loud. You got your uh, War Machine. Ben, uh, what's his name? Bruce Banner. What the fuck, Ben? That chick, Spider-Man's, Iron Man's. Again, great figure, great build of figure. Mark my words, like if you have it, maybe you agree with me, tell me if you do. If you don't, hey, whatever dude, you're wrong. Star Wars figures, and someone please tell me, what is up with turtles like mixing with everything and what the fuck, Rainbow Bright? Rainbow Bright's making a comeback. Right on dude. We got some AEW figures and we got a Rowdy Piper. Hard to find, gonna grab it. Just because it's hard to find, but I'll snatch it. Just cause, Ravishing Rick Rude, Rick Rude, Macho Man, Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Macho Man's so fucking cool. Uh, ooh, 
Roddy Piper, I'm dropping everything, goddamn. Ooh, it's a disaster. I gotta just run away. All right, well, thanks for uh, sticking around for the haul. But for those of you who have been sticking around since like day one, like you're looking out, I appreciate that. And for those of you who uh, just heard about the channel and just started checking this out, welcome aboard. We're gonna have some fun, I hope. Hope you all have fun. I'm having fun. Dude, right off the first thing I bought was a Danhausen chase, dude. I walked in, the figure wasn't even like hidden or it wasn't like on a peg. Like someone had to take it down and put it in between other figures. Super pumped, dude, because it's like, he has the cape in this one. I do have the other regular figure and I think he's just in the black suit and stuff. Uh, very nice, very evil. So yeah, dude, uh, two heads come with Danhausen. One well, he's showing a little bit more teeth. That's about it. And you know, Dan Housen comes with his jar of teeth. Uh, damn, Dan Housen almost looks, it almost looks a little, a little bit like my Tell Him Steve Dave Baron shirt. That's funny. Oh, then I went to uh, GameStop. This time I looked through everything, but it was only their clearance stuff that really like caught my eye. Favorite video game of all time is Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, followed by like the Legend of Zelda series, especially like the uh, Nintendo and, and uh, Super NES. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's uh, Link's Awakening. That's on the Switch. Very cool, this is a very cool game. Tell me what y'all's favorite uh, Zelda game is. Or tell me what your favorite like Nintendo game is. I don't know, dude, just freaking interact. Freaking, I don't care about the likes, subscribe and all. If you wanna like it, you then you're gonna like it. If you wanna subscribe, you're gonna do it. But uh, the only thing I ask is like, comment. I don't know, let's talk. Talk shit, I don't care, <laughs> I don't care. Honestly, because I'm not super familiar with some of these other games, especially since like maybe some of the 64 Zelda games. Give me some recommendations, dude. That would be cool. That was fucking rambling on about just a Zelda shirt. So I got a green Legend of Zelda shirt and it was on clearance and it's awesome. Also on clearance, but they also had buy one, get one free clearance. Uh, my plan is probably to keep one, but I bought four of them. <laughs> Uh, but there's a G.I. Joe con coming up July 19th and 20th in Louisville, Kentucky. They had some uh, Cobra Fangs uh, Funko Pops. So you can see a little Cobra Commander in there. You got the little Fang helicopter. It's cool, dude. Uh, there's the back of the box. Uh, throwback to the uh, old, like, three and three quarter inch G.I. Joe figures. Yeah, dude, I ended up getting four. There's another one. There's another one. And there's another one. Come to the G.I. Joe Con in Louisville, Kentucky on July 19th or July 20th. And uh, yeah, I'll hook you up. And then lastly, pretty hard to find, but I guess it's hitting stores a lot more. Uh, it's actually the second one I have now. WWE Elite Ultimate, a Rowdy Roddy Piper from the Monday Night War set. Good Monday Night Wars. I really dig this. At first, I didn't really dig it because I was like, I like Piper. I don't really care about Piper too much around this time, you know, kind of past his prime, but dude, he was still Hot Rod. Hot Rod is super cool. Comes with his kilt, has his icon shirt, a reality check shirt, a couple different heads. He probably has hands. Yeah, there's hands down there. Um, has his leather jacket, and there's the back of it. So you could do his like famous, like, Rowdy Piper pose, like, yeah, he just throws his hands up and shakes or whatever. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for um, checking out the channel after being out for like a year and a half. Uh, I appreciate it. It's going to be a good time. Some of the stuff that I've already recorded, um, you guys are going to hopefully really dig. Setting up at cons, doing things totally out of the box, whether it's like not just your Walmarts and Targets and stuff like that. Uh, we went to a flea market, dude. That was pretty cool. Uh, we tried to rush a whole like 600 booth flea market in about an hour and 15 minutes. Like I said, not only figures am I looking for, but you know, uh, when it comes to like vintage posters or art, cards. Uh, yeah, vinyls for sure. Vinyls most definitely. I have a plan. I just said it earlier out loud, so I have to make it happen. <laughs> it's gonna take a long time. I'm planning on getting every single Predator NECA figure that's ever been released. From the two packs to San Diego Comic Con exclusives to the individual ones to, you know, I don't know, whatever. I want all of them. And right now I have probably Right now, I probably have about 30. So, <laughs> I have a long way to go. And um, it's gonna be a lot of money. But it's gonna be awesome, dude. Like, Predator is my stuff, so. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks again for tuning in. Um, mm, if you got some Predator stuff and you wanna just get rid of it, just send it to me, I don't know. That'd be cool, that'd help me get to it. All right, 
I'm out of here. Thank you. Uh, and just stick around. Follow me on Instagram. Do that thing so you're up to date with all this other stuff. Okay. So, yeah. Until next time, we'll just, like, catch you down the road.